morning all. Oh look at the sheepdogs there. <laughs> Chasing the cars. I'm sure what else would you be doing uh, on a Sunday? Well I'll tell you what else you'd be doing on a Sunday. You could be doing what I'm doing now. I'm going to uh, um, a, a, a ride out. It, it, I went to it last year. Uh, it's in Kells, uh, not far from here actually. We're just driving through a beautiful little town or village now called Moynalty. Uh, this little village often wins um, tidiest uh, town or village of the year and all that sort of stuff. It's always winning awards for how well kept it is. Really nice place, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to a, a ride out and uh, last year they claimed to have broken the record for Ireland's biggest ever ride out. Now, I'm not sure if they're planning to do uh, or to try and break the record again this year, but I would suspect there's an undercurrent of that. Uh, I'm on all these uh, social media forums and whatever else, and uh, it seems like everybody and uh, their dog is heading out to the uh, ride out today. Now, of course, the weather's going to play, um, unfortunately, a negative part in that, um, especially for the, the bikers coming from far and wide. Is it just me or, you know, these weather apps seem to be incredibly wrong of late over the last few months, well, this year even. Um, never sort of does what it says on the tin. Today was supposed to be beautiful sunshine uh, and quite hot as well for Ireland, 16 degrees. Uh, and look at it. <laughs> I've also got my priorities all wrong, I've just realized because yesterday it was glorious sunshine and I spent the whole day cleaning the bikes, polishing the bikes and having them all looking, uh, well, magnificent. And then, of course, when it comes to riding them, like today, it lashes down. Anyway, fear not, I'm on a motorbike. My happy place, look at the state of the roads here, folks. Bloody hell. Don't fancy uh, slipping in that. Didn't take it handy enough. And we're nearly there. It's always uh, great to attend a ride out and see what bikes are on the road, see, see what's kicking about. And then the noise, of course, and the smell. It reminds me of being a kid. couldn't get enough of motorbikes when I was a kid. Well, actually, pretty much nothing's changed. <laughs> I hope you can see all right through the uh, camera lens. That's a pretty nasty day. My visor's just covered in rain. I've been putting that uh, visor um, wax on, you know, for when it rains in the hope that the rain will bead and then just sort of roll off doesn't work. Looks a bit quiet. Oh, mind you, well, there's plenty of cars. Here we go. Put the visor up. Plenty of marshals. It's always a well-organised event, anyway. Lovely KTM. Thank you all. Now, where do we go? Straight ahead and being marshalled. Coffee would be nice, wouldn't it? Loads of people, but where's the bikes? <laughs> Straight on, mate, yeah? Thank you. Loads of people, more people than there is bikes. How are you doing?
How are you doing? I see that. Jesus. I think there's more people than bikes, isn't there? Unreal. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's where all the bikes are. <laughs> that fella's saying uh, they've already opened the overflow. Right, I better go and uh, sign on. Uh, uh, complete the registration. Gosh, look at all these. It's like being a kid in a sweet shop here. Oh God, look at that. That's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Gorgeous. Fantastic. Right, time for a little gander. Time for a little bit of uh, bike lust. <laughs> as far as the eye can see. It's an incredible sight. Now the problem is, of course, uh, trying to find my own bike again. I think we're uh, heading off fairly soon. <laughs> I best start looking. And it looks like we're off. Wall to wall bikes. Serious noise. That was amazing. <laughs> the uh, the startup was deafening. <laughs> And the rain stopped. That was good. I'll apologise in advance. I won't be bringing you any of the uh, fancy 360 shots today, folks. I don't. Uh, I don't really want to have a, a camera on a pole sticking out the side of a, a bike when there's this many uh, bikes around. It looks as though uh, we're going to be packed like sardines anyway on the road. So. So I'll be capturing it mainly from this camera on the front today. Great turnout of spectators as well to come and see everybody off. 
Beautiful Ducati there. It's at the 848, I think it is. Stunning. Now, as always, we... With ride outs like this, I'm very happy not to be at the front. <laughs> let uh, let all the high octane lads get to the front. <laughs> what a spectacle, though. Amazing. Great helmet in front there. There's some serious, serious eye candy here. I'm talking about the, the two-wheeled fraternity, not anything else, by the way. It's uh, just incredible. See all these bikes. The smell. Ah, beautiful. Look at all this. This is definitely bigger than last year. I'll try and get an official figure before uh, the video goes out, when I'll flash it up at the end. Last year it was 1,500 bikes. I think there's more than that now. Very well organised, as you can see. Marshals everywhere, cops involved as well. Don't know where we're going, by the way. <laughs> I don't even know how long we're going out for. Uh, last year, if I remember rightly, it was about 45 minutes spin. But... Um, I don't know if it's the same route this year. Actually, I think it's different already, because well, l last year we headed left up onto the motorway. Doesn't look like we're going that way now. Oh, mind you, the summer. Uh, I'll follow the, uh, just follow the pack, follow the gang. Actually, I beg your pardon, this is the way we came out last year. I remember it now. I made a video about it last year as well. Always great to be part of something like this. You know, when I got back into bikes three years ago, I, I really felt as though I was joining a community, not just a hobby. And, uh, you know, at events like this as well, I mean, uh, it was lovely there, just in the parking lot where all the bikes were parked up and a lot of people uh, obviously watched my channel and just wanted to come up and say hello and uh, <laughs> some people were dying because I wasn't with the bike uh, some people were dying to know what bike I was out on so of course as soon as I mentioned I was out on this I then had to walk them back to the bike so they could pour over it and everything some, <laughs> some real enthusiasts amongst people it's such a such an amazing uh, group to be involved with very happy I made the decision to get back into biking. I love stuff like this. Look at that. I don't know if they, you can see on the camera, but literally as far as the eye can see, there are bikes and it's the same behind us as well. Old and new, a bit like myself. And people lining the route along the way as well. This is the second attempt this year for this ride out because uh, it, it was a complete and utter washout a month ago when this was originally planned. It also happened to fall on the same weekend as the uh, Rugby Six Nations, so maybe there was a, a little bit of thought put into, well, uh, half the country's going to be out celebrating if Ireland win, maybe they won't be fit for riding a bike the following day, and indeed, Ireland won. So it was a good call to postpone it. I was speaking to some lads there who've come down 
from the north, uh, the north, Northern Ireland, and uh, a lad there who come up from West Cork and travelled up this morning. Left at six o'clock. So, if you're watching this, thanks a million for coming to say hello, folks. It, uh, it really proves that the channel is working, and uh, it's always lovely to uh, to meet you. And uh, I actually recognise a couple of names as well. Uh, people who comment quite often, so it's always lovely to put the face to the names. Now, I, I love the look of them. Well, that's another bike from the north, Multistrada. And I'm pleased to say it's not just me who's a complete an anorak because uh, there are literally bikes which uh, have had the paint nearly polished off them. They're so well kept. Okay, we're slowing down here. Going the wrong way, mate. It's a tenner entry. Bargain. Get your stick it. Thank God the weather uh, dried up. It would have been pretty bloody miserable if it had carried, carried on lashing down. Always nice to see a few of the VFRs in the crowd as well. I saw a beautiful um, sort of factory grey, um, like metallic factory grey. If uh, I'm using the correct terminology for it, I don't even know if I took a photograph of it, but it was stunning. No, I don't think I did take a photograph because the guy was sitting on it, sort of staring at me, staring at his bike. One thing I have noticed about my bike is that it does run hot when you're uh, sat at sort of slower speeds. Definitely runs hot. The fan kicks in at 104 degrees, but uh, the amount of heat coming up from the engine, I think that's a, a characteristic of the uh, VFR 800 anyway, so I don't mind. Sure, the weather here in Ireland will help cool the engine down. Gorgeous countryside. When I think about it, I'm a bit of a lone rider, you know. I spend most of the year uh, uh, heading off the places by myself, as you know, if you've followed me for a while. So it really is nice to, to get out with other like-minded uh, anoraks, for want of a better word, because I think we're all passionate. I, I've never met a biker yet who, who, who doesn't treat his bike with love and affection and passion. As the old saying goes, how do you spot a biker in the room? Don't worry, he'll tell you. <laughs> I think we're heading out on the uh, motorway now. Going left here. A few riders gone round the roundabout the wrong way. Look at the whole line of bikes, that's just amazing. Hope you can hear me. My little deflector's doing a great job. Again, part, part of the on-running saga with this bike, but I, I think I have it sorted now. I'm really happy with how quiet the bike is. Compared to when I first got it, anyway. Anyway, we won't go over that again. We're on a lovely day out. I can see as many bikes behind me in the side mirror as there are in front of me.
So if I'm right in thinking, we'll be following the same route as last year, uh, which is down the motorway here, and then we turn off into Kells Town, um, and then head back up to the starting point again. That's that Ducati 848. That is stunning. I really love that. I've always had a penchant for Ducatis, but can never really justify one, because I don't think I would ride it much. Lovely Harley there. Sun's coming out, folks. Beautiful R6. Quite like sitting here watching all the bikes passing me. Polish registration there. Heard a lot of foreign accents. Of course, now's the time of year where uh, Ireland attracts a lot of bikers anyway over the summer season. Uh, coming over to sample our delightful views, our incredible countryside, and our beautiful roads as well. When I first got back into riding and I started this channel, I remember telling you that uh, you know you could ride for days certainly over in the west of Ireland places like Ballyvaughan and West Cork and uh, you know you could ride for days without seeing another biker and at one stage I was wondering just how many bikers there were was it a sort of dying breed within Ireland but then you come to an event like this and then you realize no <laughs> there's a majority not a minority of bikers on today's roads. So I think we're turning left in here. Another big Harley. Valley Motorcycle Touring Club on that vest in front of me. Wouldn't mind uh, hooking up with that gang because the Boyne Valley is just an incredible place to ride. A bike from 1980, that old Suzuki there. Looked an incredible nick. I don't know if you can see in my uh, side mirror there, I'll try and get a shot, probably not, but it's incredible seeing all the lights coming up behind me. Okay, I can honestly say I've never seen this many bikers all my life at one um, sort of congregation. Still got to keep your wits about you and all eyes open because they're everywhere. Here's uh, CC's motorbikes on the corner here. And like I say, that's uh, a guy just walked straight out in front of that bike there. Bloody hell. So this is the shop on the corner there with the uh, the, the black roof. And that's the, the lads who, uh, like I say, brought this bike back to life for me. Recommend them to anybody, and I have done. I hope they've uh, 
got a bit of business uh, from my videos about this bike because I just uh, I can't say enough about those lads. Now why is these bikes all going the other way? Do they know something I don't? Gorgeous Royal Enfield Interceptor there. I love that sort of bronzy colour. See a clean shot over there now. Right. Beautiful R1. And of course, I'm next to another VFR. Fabulous looking bikes. What's that Suzuki there? Oh, that's the, um, what, what did we call it? We'll try and get closer. The back end looks incredible, doesn't it? It's just here on the right of me. Just pulling up alongside it there now. Katana, yeah. I was thinking Montana. It's a Katana. I love the back end on that. That looks brilliant. I wonder how they're still in. Very different looking bike. Now the bike's running very hot again. 101 degrees here. And the heat coming up onto my legs is massive. Well, that looks as though we're, we're coming back to the starting point now, folks. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the beer keg on the back for his fuel? Classic. So, yeah, that was a, a brilliant spin out. So well organized. And uh, like I said earlier, great to uh, meet a few of you and have a chat as well. Talk, talking all things motorbikes. I mean... If you're anywhere petrol head, coming to an event like this is brilliant. I, I hope I've got the official figures and uh, maybe it's the amount raised as well so I can flash up at the end of this um, video. Pe people gen genuinely look delighted to see this spectacle. Like, I suppose even if you're not into motorbikes, it's uh, a great sight to behold. Another VFR, gorgeous. Stop spotting the VFRs, Dave. Right, that's it, folks. I'm um, I'm probably going to sign off here. Um, my wife's been away for a few days. She gets back this afternoon, so perfect timing. I'll just uh, split from the ranks now and um, head on home. That was absolutely brilliant. What a fabulous way to spend a Sunday. And all going well. I'll be back next year. Dave Perry. Really good TV. And uh, I'll see you at the same time next week. 8 o'clock Saturday morning. YouTube. That's my slot. Catch you then. Thanks a lot for coming along for the ride. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the day out as well. Absolutely brilliant. Great stuff. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs>